1942. It is from Obergruppenführer Wolf, personal adjutant, or pardon me, personnel director of um, one of the umps under Heinrich Himmler. Highly esteemed General Field Marshal, dear party member Milch, you will remember that I, by order of the Reichsführer SS, recommended to you the work of an SS officer, Dr. Rascher, who was a medical officer of the Luftwaffe on leave. This work on the influence of high altitudes on human organism and on the cooling of the human body in cold water and similar questions deals with problems which are of the utmost interest for the Luftwaffe. We are able to perform this work with special effect because the Reichsführer SS assumed personal responsibility for these experiments on as socials and criminals deserving death from concentration camps. It is a pity that you had no time when Dr. Rascher re recently wanted to lecture at the Air Ministry. The Reichsführer SS expected very much of it because being personally informed, you certainly will have taken action to remove the many difficulties of Dr. Rash's work. These difficulties are always the same. Luftwaffe medical officers are of the opinion that a young German airman may risk his life, but that the life of a criminal who is not called upon, who is not called up is too sacred for that, and that they do not want to be blamed for such experiments. Still, the results of the experiments are used while the scientist who carried them out is eliminated. The Reichsführer SS himself has seen the experiments, and I can state that without exaggerating, helped and sim stimulated in every phase of these experiments. Now, he does not want that you and he get angry about the development. In his opinion, it will at least take another 10 years until our people get rid of such narrow-mindedness. But the research necessary for our young and faultless soldiers and airmen must not be hampered by this. The Reichsführer SS therefore requests you to release Stabzatz of the reserve Dr. Rascher from the Luftwaffe and to transfer him to the Waffen SS. The Reichsführer SS will then have all these experiments carried out on his sole responsibility and the experiences which we only partly used in the SS regarding frostbites in the East will be left entirely to the Luftwaffe. Here he suggests that a competent physician will be nominated as liaison between you and myself, who has the opportunity to report to you continuously about the research work. The Reichsführer believes that this solution is the best way that is to say, to transfer Dr. Rascher to the SS so that he can perform his experiments under his, the Reichsführer's, responsibility and under his orders. The experiments must under no circumstances be discontinued. We owe that to our men. If Dr. Rascher would remain with the Luftwaffe, a lot of trouble certainly would arise because in that case, the Reichsführer SS would have to bring to your knowledge quite some unfortunate details which will certainly occur in the future concerning the execution of experiments up to now. It is especially Professor who plays his part. In order to save you and himself a lot of trouble, the Reichsführer SS begs to transfer Dr. Rascher as quickly as possible to the Waffen SS. The Reichsführer SS would appreciate it very much if you would give the order that the low pressure chamber is to be put at our disposal again, together with gradual aggregate pumps, because experiments are to be extended to still higher altitudes. Heil Hitler, Wolf. Copies of this letter. Wolfgang Lutz be called to the stand. Gang Lutz, you take the stand.
your right hand and be sworn. I swear by God the Almighty and Omniscient. I swear by God, the Almighty, the Almighty, and all wisdom, that I will speak the pure truth and will withhold and ask the reine Wahrheit sagen werde. nichts verschweigen und nichts hinzufügen werde. Your name is Wolfgang Lutz? Ja. Ja. You are a German national? Ja. You are now a prisoner of war held at Camp Marcus W.R. near Salzburg? Yes. Yeah. When and where were you born? In Linz on the Donau, am 27. May 1913. Have you studied medicine? Yeah. Where and when? From 1931 to 1937 in Wien and Innsbruck. What branch of medicine have you specialized in? Yeah. Innere Medizin. Were you a member of the Luftwaffe during the war? Yeah. <coughs> when did you join? Am um, 8. Uh, May 1939. What rank? Did you attain the war? Zuletzt, zuletzt uh, Stabsarzt. Stab darts. That is captain in the U.S. Army. <coughs> ja, jawohl. Were you stationed in Munich during the war? Yeah, well. Did you know of a Luftwaffe installation called Boden Steindige Prefstella for Hohen Forschung der Luftwaffe in Munich? Institut für Luftfahrtmedizin, jawohl. What was that installation? What did it do? Durchführung wissenschaftlicher Arbeiten auf dem Gebiet der Luftfahrtmedizin. Did you know George August Bells? Jawohl. What was his relationship to that institute? Er war der Vorstand des Institutes. Was that the name of the institute? Uh, strike that. Uh, did, did the name of this institute, of which Belts was the commanding officer, later change? <coughs> 